All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to install custom firmware 5.50 Gen D full onto your PlayStation Portable. This is a flash installer called the X Gen Updater. Um, basically, you're going to need the official firmware 5.50 um, PVP, relabeled as 550.pvp, and you're going to need the updating software uh, given by Team Gen. So, uh, I will have the link for these files. Um, it'll all be in one file for you guys, uh, and uh, basically, let's get to it. Alright, so right now I'm running on 5.50 Gen C full custom firmware, and all you're going to do is take the USB cable and connect it to your PSP, and then come to the PC. Okay, so the file I'm going to have you download is right here, it's called XGen version 4 gen release version dot dot dot. Double click on that and open that up. <clears throat> and um, if you don't have an extraction program, just right click on it and say extract all to your desktop. Don't need to get fancy. You see a documents folder inside there is located of a text document that you can refer to. The 550.pbp and a PSP folder. And inside the PSP folder will be the game folder. And open up the game folder until you see the update folder. Inside that update folder you will see an eboot. Make sure that's in there. I'm going to go back to you see the update folder. Open up my computer. <clears throat> and open up the removable drive for your PSP. Open up the um, PSP folder. Open up the game folder. If you have an update folder in there already, delete it. If not, don't worry about it. So delete any update folders that you have there. Take the update folder from the extracted files and drag and drop that into uh, the um, PSP game folder. There you go. There's the update folder right there for you. Now go back to the memory stick root on the PSP memory stick. And on the extracted files, go back until you see the 550.pvp right here, this thing. Drag and drop that into the memory stick root of the PSP memory stick, which is basically just first up where you will see all your folders for such as PSP, Pitcher, SE plugins, etc. Now I've already done that, so I'm just going to hit no, but just to confirm that it's there on my memory stick, there it is, 550.pvp. After that's done copying over, exit that, you can exit this, and minimize that, and come back to the PSP. Back at the PSP, we're going to exit USB mode here, like so, and then scroll over to the game and open up the memory stick, and you will see the 5.50 Gen D updater version. Click on that to update. So just simply start that up. <coughs> now you will see this screen come up. This simply says, Yoshirio PSP X Gen updated for PSP Gen Custom Firmware 5.5 Gen D enable 6.xx games and Sony official firmware 3.x to 6.xx. This version is compatible with testing the firmwares too, but TT uh, firmwares, right? Which is um, oh my god, the branch off of M33 firmwares only on fat PSP. Use it at your own risk. Anyways, so uh, you're gonna hit enter so hit X and you're gonna say flash install custom firmware 5.50 gen D um, and then if you want you could flash install official firmware but that's only if you need to but we're gonna hit flash install custom firmware 5.50 gen D so hit X on that and wait for that to finish alright so that's done now so hit X to reboot <laughs> and let's see. Do, do, do. So let me just hide my MAC address real quick. and go to system settings and scroll down to system information 
And I am now running on 5.50 Gen D full custom firmware. So that's that. Um, that's uh, custom firmware 5.50 Gen D full. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. If you have any recommendations for any other videos you would like to see, leave me a comment on my channel at youtube.com slash deathrain, spelled D-3-A-T-H-R-A-I-N-3-3-3. Um, and yeah, other than that, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching, enjoy the new firmware, and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.